Bum, 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 bum. Greetings. Hello, my friends. It is I, Peter Draws. A wise man once said something about pens being mightier than the sword. And so today, we are going to look at these, which must be veritable weapons of mass destruction, the Bic Body Mark Tattoo Markers. That's right, I'm going to turn them upon myself. But first, I couldn't help but notice that some of you are looking at my jacket. Good news for you. I have put this jacket up for sale for only $3, along with this trench coat. Great for solving crimes, going out on late nights, $3. And this sweatshirt, a supernova of style, $3. And this groovy Hawaiian shirt, also only for $3, along with several other items from my closet, all of which you can shop for with Poshmark using their app. Download Poshmark using the link in the description and shop from my closet or from some of your favorite brands. It's one of the easiest ways to clean items out of your closet. Personally, I'm taking this off right now to package it up and ship off to one of you. I wore this bad boy to a party on New Year's Eve. I guess it's about time to pass it along to one of you. It'll be like the sisterhood of the traveling party jacket. So go check out the link in the description and uh, it could be yours. All right, what we need to get into though is these pens. I want to find out if, well, if they work good on my skin. My goal here is to draw myself a tattoo sleeve. All right, yeah, so here's my arm. Wait, let me open this up. Uh, first of all, let's look at the package. It says Body Mark by Bic. We know they normally make uh, ballpoint pens. That's at least what they're most commonly known for, right? Temporary tattoo marker, skin safe, Securitaire pour la peau. And then down here it says, designed for skin, concou pour la peau. It says henna vibes. Of course, I'm mostly uh, interested in, wait, do not use near eyes or lips. Complies with cosmetic regulations. I didn't know the cosmos had regulations. So obviously I am most interested in the black one. Not really interested in the brown one too much. And maybe some highlights with red, if I feel adventurous. The interesting, the thing that will be interesting about these is, well, do they work? Because I, throughout my life, have tried drawing on myself a lot. Much to my parents and teachers' chagrin. A lot of pens just don't draw on skin that well. At first they might, and then it's something about like all the oils on your skin or something. The pens just kind of stop working after a while. Most pens anyway. So let's see if these pens do better. If they can draw all over my arm without whatever happening to them that normally happens to pens in my experience. I mean, I have had, like there are some pens like, like even Sharpies, right? You'd think that those like or if anything can do it, Sharpies should, but no, I've skin is weird. Oil, you know, it's just weird stuff. I don't I don't have all the answers, but it posts well. Hey, if anyone, you know, some people care about that a lot. I mean I'm one of those people, so um and here the weird part about this video is that you have to look closely at my skin a lot. Um I'm just gonna start. Also, um I have a lot of hair. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable to be forcing everyone to look this closely, this closely at my body. <laughs> um, but I guess that's just the, how it goes. Um, that's what I'm curious about. Like as the, will the tip of the pen be affected as it, you know, like kind of dives and cuts through this sea of hair on my arm? Will it be affect? Will that be a problem? You know, there's a few factors skin. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a time lapse of course, but I'm just gonna um, draw a little circle here to see what it's like. Also, skin is much different than paper for several reasons. Of course, uh, it's squishy, it's 3D, it's got like little creases and canyons in it. 
It seems to be working pretty good so far. I like it. My first impression is a good one. So I'm pretty much just going to doodle uh, all over my hand if everything goes according to plan. All right, let's do that. It does feel kind of weird. And it did feel kind of weird. Obviously not the level of discomfort or pain that you would feel from an actual tattoo because there are no uh, high-speed needle poking going on. Uh, but there's something about this where it wasn't just ink. Maybe it was just ink. It almost felt like a combination of a marker and a paint pen where when I would draw the lines, some of my hair would get kind of matted down and caught up in the dried ink. And then I would draw some other lines and then the tip of the pen would kind of get caught up on the, the hair that was already dried or something like this. Kind of like walking through the forest and continually tripping on tree roots. It was the drawing equivalent of that. But uh, it was not a big deal and it didn't, uh, like it wasn't making me mess up a bunch or anything. It was just like a funny little thing that kept happening to me. Like I didn't expect it, that's all. But mostly it worked pretty good. I was very pleased with it. Like, uh, I was, like I mentioned, I was expecting it to maybe having tr to have trouble with my, the oils in my hands. I did take a shower earlier in the day, so maybe that helped to get rid of some of the oils. Uh, but like the, the pen never petered out, as some people might say. It did start, if I ever put down the pen without the cap on for even more than like 30 seconds, even 30 seconds, I would notice that it would, it, it, it would start drying out very, very fast. That was something that interested me and it did smell like alcohol. So I think this was alcohol based, based. So maybe I would hesitate to use it on very sensitive areas like, you know, like around your face and whatnot. But I think it, I think it had a, a warning to that effect on the box, but I didn't really read that. I, I think it could be cool to use this, use pens like this on my face in the future. I have, I do have a few videos of me trying to draw on my face in the past and it's very difficult because I usually look in a mirror and everything in the mirror is like backwards or, or mirrored, right? Uh, so whenever I try doing that, I just have a new, a newfound respect for all the people out there that, well, put makeup on, on a daily basis. And I guess you just kind of get used to it, uh, after a while, anything you do a bunch, you can get used to. So, but yeah, it worked pretty good. I, I don't know if it would really be a convincing, convincing, maybe if people saw it from a distance, I feel like if you looked at this up close at all, you would realize that it's either not a real tattoo or a very sloppily done tattoo because a lot of these lines are not very crisp. I think that's just the nature of this kind of the kind of brush tip that this marker had. The lines are not of a uniform width, which kind of bugged me. Uh, but yeah, maybe if you were more than a, you know, more than five, 10 feet away and you know, no one asked, if someone asked you, do you think this tattoo is real? Obviously that will put the seed of doubt into your mind and all of, you know, me and you, we all saw me draw this. So, we all know right off the bat, it's not a real tattoo, but if, it's not very often you see people drawing tattoos on themselves like this. So if you just saw me walking down the street, you'd probably be like, oh yeah, that guy has a weird tattoo, which is way, weird tattoos are way more common than people drawing on themselves. Also, at the end of this video, I do like a little recap uh, where I'm like, I'll tell you how long it lasts. At the point of me recording this commentary, it is now the day after I I drew on it. I draw myself and, well, I'm just now taking off my watch and some, <laughs> some of the tattoo has transferred onto the inside of my watch band. Also, I slept last night. I didn't take a shower before I went to bed. I'm about to go take a shower now after I finish making this video. Don't worry. Uh, there was one point in the night where I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to like peel my arm off of the backside of my pillow, which was a very weird sensation. 
And also I woke up and some of the tattoo, actually the part that said body, uh, had transferred over to my right hand. Uh, but mo- other than that, it mostly stayed on there completely without fading. After I take a shower, I assume a lot of it will fade off, uh, especially if I start scrubbing it all. But it did pretty good. I was mostly just very happy that it didn't smear or smudge at all while I was drawing. It was very, uh, like it, it dried very fast, so on and so forth. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll really make it much more than a couple more days. Really the only way to make it last longer is to not let anything uh, touch it. Like my sleeve, the sleeve of my shirt didn't affect it, but uh, anything more serious than that will start wearing away at it, which is good. I mean, it's a temporary tattoo pen, so you don't want it to be too sturdy, right? Yes. I think in the future, if I wanted to do more, I would just buy several packs of these markers, or I would appreciate maybe if they just sold packs of like three of the black pen. Maybe they do. I don't remember. I think I just bought this on Amazon or something. I'll put a link to it. Uh, and I, I do remember they had some packs with like other colors. Like this is the henna pack. And I think there was like ones with like black, red, and blue or something. I don't, I don't remember, but obviously I was just mostly interested in the black one. I do have an actual tattoo machine I need to practice with more and some fake skin. In the past, I've practiced some other tattoo stuff, but that was when I had like the cheaper $60 kit and I have a better setup now, uh, a more professional setup. I do hesitate to say that because I know it's not really professional at all to practice in your, you know, just in your apartment. But uh, if I want to, I can. So I might. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, wait, here's the outro. Hey, so check this out. I'm uh, pretty much done. I could have kept going. I didn't get as much of the sleeve done as I first anticipated, right? But that's okay. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's kind of hard to show all of it. It looks sweet. It's not like rubbing off or anything, right? So I'm not sure how many washes it'll take. Uh, I pretty much just stopped because the nib of the pen was wearing out in the sense that it's it's like a felt felt tipped brush nib, right? So it was like feathering out instead of staying fine and the, the lines were getting wider and wider. And so that's why some of the, the last things I did were just blocking in big sections like this. But I'm really happy with what it did. It worked really well. Okay, so really if I wanted to do more of this, I would just have to buy, I would just have to have more than one and just keep tossing them after each big chunk like this, right? But pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to check out the Poshmark link in the description. Go download the app. Yeah, go try drawing on yourself. I will update you with how long this takes to wash off. Um, I start school on Monday, so I would rather it look like this when I go to school than just to be half faded. Like I wish it would be an all or nothing thing, but uh, I don't know. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Boom.